Pamela Holt, your host of Me, Myself, and the World. <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I was raised on the beautiful island of Oahu, Hawaii. I've been solo traveling for quite some time, and I just recently hit my 81st country. This is the art of solo travel, and with solo travel comes a lot of adventure and a lot of new friends. I invite you to join my solo travel revolution as we explore this great planet of ours together. Welcome to me, myself, and the world. I'm your host, Pamela Holt, and this is Vietnam. I've been here in Bali for almost a week, and it's time to move on to Vietnam in a couple days. One of the best things about being a solo traveler is you can just kind of wing it, which is what I do a lot. If you plan at least a day or two in advance, you can get some great deals, and it's kind of exciting. So I found a company called Christina's. They're located in Vietnam from Hanoi down to Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. They offer transportation, tours with one trip and actual accommodations and even food tours. I'm going to check them out next. Saigon, Vietnam, also known as Ho Chi Minh City. I see my bag. Aha! It's always a little bit of excitement when your bag shows up. <laughs> in Vietnam, gotten into my move, MUVV, and they are taking me to Christina's Hotel. I got two refreshing towelettes, two wonderful pieces of candy, and one bottle of water. <laughs> it is the Lunar New Year, and it is going to be a blast for the next four days. Cheers to Vietnam and me. Nice I'm to meet Pamela. you too. Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh, my name is on the list. USA. Perfect. What is that? Is it a flight? <laughs> That's a cute sound. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so pretty. I can wear these all around the hotel? Yeah, all around the hotel. Okay. We call it honesty because like the honesty price is the same supermarket for your convenience. Oh, yeah. Oh. The churro fry is a, a little bit higher because it includes a tip, but you can pay this one or this one depend on you. And just leave the money here. Yeah. That's so that's nice. called honest. <laughs> uh, that is honest. Yeah. I love that. Oh, the singing bowls are so wonderful. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> Nice to meet you. 
So this is a very typical morning in Saigon. Everybody very crowded. Yeah. So it is part of um, how to say our daily experience. Yeah. So without the traffic, Saigon is not Saigon anymore. Right. <laughs> a, a lot of people would view it as the, something really crazy, negative. But for me, as a Saigon Saigonese person, I feel like this is part of our life. And without it, it is not beautiful anymore. You know. So I always, <laughs> I always, you know, look at it as a very positive way. You know, even in a work situation, you always find something nice and interesting about it. Right. Right. So. <laughs> This is a video uh, explaining why Starbucks cannot sell well in Vietnam. Yeah, uh, you saw this one already, really, right? Yeah. A uh, coffee market in Vietnam is really competitive. And the Vietnamese people, you know, we started blending the coffee trees, you know, producing it and making coffee. And we have a tradition, a long lasting tradition of enjoying coffee. So it's really hard for us to actually uh, get familiar with a new thing. Of course, we have young people who are enjoying new coffees like Gloria Chin's coffee from Australia. Uh, Starbucks coffee from America. However, general speaking, you know, the majority of Vietnamese people from different walks of life, we enjoy our traditional way of making coffee. The Vietnamese coffee, the one with condensed milk and ice, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone, now I'm gonna show you how they make coconut paper. In Vietnamese, we call it bánh phòng sữa, which means milk something paper. This is one of the very popular snack in this area, we call bánh tre. So when it comes to bánh tre, we think about coconut. So we call it uh, paper because it looks similar to the rice paper. You know, the way they make it is quite similar. For the ingredients, we basically need uh, coconut milk, tapioca, and sugar malt, and condensed milk as well, condensed milk, yeah. So after one is done, they will carry immediately to the sun to dry in two hours. Yeah, and it's the second one, just one after another. Now we're going to remove the coconut paper out of the mat. So this is a technique. You normally start from the side, right? You're going to start from the side like this. Take the whole thing out. So now it's time for us to actually try it. Like wrap it up like this and put it in your mouth and enjoy. Ah. <laughs> See? And now ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, let's try the best version of it. Band and flavor. So get both like green and white color. Hope you enjoy it. I just found this. Um, they keep this at the ready so they can catch a bird, which would be a delicacy for dinner. It's a very, very crafty slingshot made of a whole bunch of rubber bands. to say, <laughs> eat in D5, um, live in D3, have fun in D1, have trouble in D4? Uh, <laughs> well, there's, um, you know how to say, there's uh, quite a yeah, number of different versions. We have different sections in a city that is, how to say, uh, interesting in a certain way. Yeah. Like in Dietrich's yeah. one, it's so fancy, you know, it's the richest park of the city. So this is where people like entertain a lot. District one. Yep. Mm. But Dietrich trees is where, you know, we have all like, it also like high-end residential areas for okay. super high-end, right. like high-ranked people. Yeah. And District five? Which is why it's actually a part of like Chinatown, which is really big. So it's mainly okay. for business and market and things like that. It's also fun to go there as well. Okay. Yeah. And then what happened to D4? Which is for, well, <laughs> <laughs> this is the version that I know, you know, back in the day, this is for what consider is one of like <clears throat> the most serious area in terms of criminals. It <laughs> is not that serious nowadays, to be honest. Okay. But back in the day, there was a lot of like, 
uh, people, uh, you know, addicted to drugs and, you know, a lot of criminals, things like that. But, you know, now it's getting much better. Okay. Due to uh, better <laughs> social security. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think every single city in the world would have, you know, similar oh, yeah. at some point, right? Oh, of course. Of yes. course. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there are two types of uh, brick they make right here. The one you see, the four hole one, this, this, the big one. Yeah, we use this one for building the wall of the house. And the other one, solid one, this one used for the foundation and to make a pillar like this. Vietnam is a hot country, right? So with this one, it must be easier for air ventilation. So it'd be cooler. Just left the brick factory and we're heading on to the Mekon Delta. Very excited. Have wanted to come here for a long time. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. Right. Right. Thank you. Bye your head, please. Woo. Okay, so we are now on the water of the Mekon already. Yeah, and we're gonna start our fascinating cruise along the river. But it's not only, you know, spending time on the water, we do have some interesting onshore visit later on. Wow, look at all those coconuts. Here on the Mekong Delta, they use coconuts for everything. They use the fiber to make clothing. They use the husks. They use the meat, obviously, for food. The coconut oil, they make chapstick, lotions. They use coconut in so many different ways, every aspect of the coconut, which is sustainable, incredible, and such a valuable product to this economy. the top fiber of the coconut. It's the, the best meat of the coconut. She's soaked it in water and sugar for like four or five hours. It is a masterpiece of sugary candy. Mmm, that is so yummy. She sells it in a bag like this for about $4. I probably would pay $11. <laughs> um, it is so delicious and it's a delicacy. Somewhat. It, it's every family has these uh, at all the holidays, especially the Lunar New Year. <laughs> she makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm just going to keep eating this. It's delicious. Mm. How interesting how she met her husband. Mm -hmm. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it love at first sight? Cái đó phải là tình yêu xét đánh không từ đầu không? So, ai để ý ai? Ai để ý ai yes. trước? Ai để ý ai, để ý ai trước? Thì ông để mình chứ wow. mình đâu để ông. That guy, my husband, like, had a crush on me first. Oh. Mm. He is 10 years older than her. Oh. Yeah. But he, she said, like, <cười> she didn't know the fact. Ấy, she didn't know about the, that fact. Oh. Yeah. Thế khi nào mới biết ông lớn hơn? Cứ vậy cũng chưa biết nữa. Oh, my God. What? Chị Even... của ông nói. Okay. <cười> Well, she said, like, I didn't know that he 
he was 10 years older than me, even after marriage. What? That's so so funny. his older sister, his <laughs> older sister told me that he is 10 years older than me. <laughs> well, right after the liberation, right after the, the Vietnam War, then the people working for the com like the government like her or him had to be, you know, a member of Communist Party. So as a member of Communist Party, you have to have a lot of meeting like every single week. So that's where they met. Wow. Yeah. So he's a she's a member of the the bank, right? The communist member of the bank, and he working for the other company as well. So they they always got a time to meet each other. <laughs> The Mekong Delta has riverways that run through Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, China, all the way up to Tibet. It's an incredible ecosystem, houses an immense amount of animals, very important products to each of the cultures, and it's a beautiful place. throughout the country, from the mountainous area to the delta, from north to south, you would see the villages making sleeping mat in Vietnam. We have a lot of villages in the Mekong Delta making this one for generations. So this family alone, like four generations already, making the mat. For the whole piece like this, it takes about like one, one hour, 25 minutes. That's it? Yeah. For a whole mat? And every day, both of the ladies can make like three, three or four mats. Even now, you know, in the countryside, a lot of families still refer laying down on a mat like this instead of mattress, because we have no AC here. <laughs> so if you have thick mattress, you can imagine how hot it is, right? I think we've decided that this is our favorite. Yeah. It's a pomelo. It's this fibrous outside, and the second you bite into it, there's so much juice inside. It's not an orange, it's not a lemon, and it's not a tangerine. It's all in that family. And one of these, they're pretty large. They're maybe the size of um, like a coconut. And uh, he said here locally, it's organic, of course. This wonderful lady has grown it. Um, about a dollar twenty-five U.S. How did you drive me? Uh, I can't drive. I tried. My my dad tried to teach me in Thailand to ride a motorcycle, and I crashed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> driver. <laughs> a delicious lunch here at Huai Yo. It's a restaurant here in the Mekong Delta. We had a little bit of ear fish, wonderful chicken, and a lot of other delicious food, including banana leaf salad, which I've never had before, and it was very tasty. I've definitely gotten better on this trip about trying new things, new flavors, and I've always been surprised. We're off back to the Mekong Delta, to the river. We're gonna actually canoe a bit up the river and then catch a boat back to the city. Oh, is this coconut flour? The restaurant? This does look like the Jungle Book ride at Disneyland, but it's not. It is the real deal here at the Mekon Delta. <laughs>
It has been another wonderful day experiencing new adventures. A few tips and tricks from both myself and One Trip, the tour company that I went with. Make sure to wear long pants and at least bring something long sleeve. It helps with the heat. It also helps with the elements, the bugs. It's been a glorious day of eating. We started out with breakfast and Vietnamese coffee, a snack with all different kinds of fruit, and a wonderful southern Vietnamese lunch. All compliments of one trip on the tour. Be sure to bring something to keep your belongings, but there's a lot of different modes of transportation, so stay mobile. Some sunscreen, some insect repellent, some good shoes, and off you go. I'm gonna spend the rest of my time heading back to Ho Chi Minh City, resting, relaxing, of course, perusing all my fabulous pictures and possibly submitting to social media. I'm Pamela Holt saying, hang up life from Vietnam. Mwah! <laughs>